I think it's wrong. I mean, I think it takes the choice of who represents people out of the hands of people. I mean, the, the issue, I think, has always been the influence of big money in politics. And this doesn't do anything about that. And it, it'll make it very hard for somebody with no name recognition, which is kind of normal, both countywide and district-wide, to run in a race where somebody with an extraordinary amount of money, like a David Trone or a Kathy Matthews, can, can create instant name recognition because they can spend ungodly sums of money. So if people think they're going to get a more democratic form of government out of this, I really don't think so. And I think if you don't like what people do, you don't vote for them. And I thought that you know, the council voted to implement um, public financing, which enables people to raise far more money than they used to be able to raise and to have public financing support, which you raise locally. And I think those are the kind of things that make races more competitive and more democratic. But simply turning over people, um, I think, is a bad idea. And it's even worse because the way he's arranged it you would turn over the entire council, so you'd have no institutional memory. It'd be like every eight years, which is, you know, two terms, or three terms, you're going to be turning over, it's three terms. Every three terms, you're going to be turning over the entire council. No one who, you know, carries on from before could stay over. And I find that, you know, not in the best interest of, you know, county citizens. If you don't like the work that elected officials do, it's, I think it's really easy to vote against them.